look down, look all around Up in the air or on the ground Come for a walk, come for a ride There's so much to see, so come outside We've got long ears, we keep them clean our eyes are big and bright. We live in burrows underground and hide there out of sight. What are we? We're rabbits. Are you going to sit there all day? Hello, me dears. Pippin's sulking. We've got a visitor staying and he's getting all the attention. <laughs> she doesn't like that. Come and meet him. This is a rabbit hutch. And this is Bobby. He belongs to my sister Edie, but I'm looking after him while she's on holidays. Isn't he lovely? His fur is so soft and silky. Look at his little nose twitching. All rabbits do that. Come and look, Pippin. She will in a minute. And he's got a fluffy little tail. <laughs> There, Bobby. You run around and get some exercise. This fence is to keep him in. Otherwise, he might run away. And Edie would not like that. Inside his hutch, he's got two rooms. This is his living room. He can look out through the wire. And this... It's his bedroom. It's cosy and dark in here. He likes to sleep on straw. It's nice and comfortable. Oh. That's good. They're making friends. He's nice, isn't he, Pippin? Yes. Oh, I know a place where there are lots of rabbits. Pippin, it's time to fly. Here we are, Pippin. That's where the rabbits live. Oh, rabbits. If we keep very quiet and still, we might see some rabbits. There they are. No, Pippin, you can't chase them. They 
live in burrows under the ground. And they come out to look for food. They eat grass, plants, berries, corn, carrots, lettuce. There's a nature park near here where they've got some baby rabbits. Come on. Baby rabbits are called kittens, just like baby cats. Hello, Auntie Mabel. Hello. How old are these kittens? They're four weeks old. Would you like to hold one? Yes, please. Dandelion and cabbage leaves for Bobby. There you are, Bobby. You must be hungry. And I need a nice cup of tea. story about a rabbit. His name is Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Rabbit was always getting into trouble, but then he always found a way out. One day he came across a well with a bucket hanging in it. The bucket looked just the right size for a rabbit to curl up in and go to sleep. But Br'er Rabbit didn't know that the bucket was tied to a rope and on the other end of the rope, down at the bottom of the well, was another bucket. Br'er Rabbit climbed in. Now, with Br'er Rabbit in it, the bucket at the top was heavier than the bucket at the bottom. So, what happened? Down went Br'er Rabbit in his bucket came the other bucket. They passed each other halfway and then splash! Br'er Rabbit's bucket landed in the water. How was he going to get out again? Br'er Fox was passing by and he heard the splash. He looked into the well and called out. Is anyone there? It's only me answered Br'er Rabbit. And I'm fishing. Fishing? asked Br'er Fox. Are there fish in the well? Br'er Fox liked fish. 
Oh, hundreds, answered Br'er Rabbit. In fact, too many for me to carry. Why don't you come down and help me? So, Br'er Fox climbed into the other bucket. Now, Br'er Fox was much heavier than Br'er Rabbit. So what happened? Down went Br'er Fox in his bucket. Up came Br'er Rabbit in the other bucket. They passed each other halfway and then... Splash! Br'er Fox's bucket landed in the water. And Br'er Rabbit jumped out. Br'er Bear was passing by and he heard the splash. What's going on? he asked. Br'er Fox is fishing in the well, answered Br'er Rabbit. And as Br'er Bear looked into the well, Br'er Rabbit went home. I wonder what happened next. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I don't think I gave the rabbit any water, did I? I'd better go and see. Just me. The hutch is open. How did that happen? Oh. Was it that naughty Pippin? Did she open the gate so the rabbit could run away? What's happened? Hello? Is that the Grand Hotel? Could I speak to Edie Featherstone, please? Oh, hello, Edie. It's Mabel. Um, about your rabbit. Well, uh... Your rabbit is... Oh. Your rabbit is curled up in Pippin's basket. Oh. Yes. Yes, Edie, I know I didn't have to call just to tell you that. Oh, Pippin, you are a clever dog. Oh. 